Hi everyone, my name is Marie. Today I will be doing another Pokemon drawing video. If you've been watching these, then you'll know that I did not grow up with Pokemon at all. So I've had my husband come up with some descriptions of each Pokemon, and I will pick one and I will see what we come up with. Horsey. Horsey is a water type Pokemon. He's a chibi, light blue seahorse. He has a round head with a nose that looks kind of like a snork snorkel. Little cheek fins that each have three prongs and big eyeballs with red irises. His body is basically all tail that curls into a spiral at the end. Important. He has a cream colored belly and little roundish cream colored wings slash dorsal fins. Okay, time to draw a horsey. So as always, I'm gonna start off with just really, really loose shapes to have a rough sketch in place before I do anything uh, more permanent. I'm going to start off just with a circle for the head of the horsey and the description says that it has big eyes with red irises so I'm going to try to just rough that in. I'm making this horsey look about three quarters one way so I'm making sure that the eyes um, have the same perspective to indicate that and I'm trying to work on that snout, but the snout looks so weird right now, so I'm just gonna have to go back to that. I'm instead gonna rough in this little spiral body. The description said that most of its body is the spiral tail, so I'm gonna try to honor that, and I'll do a little cinnamon roll, and I think that I'm gonna definitely need to clean this up. This is one of the roughest, rougher drawings that I've done. The description also mentions little fins and wings, so I'm just going to figure out where I can place those. I don't always know what the fins are supposed to do on, so like I have no idea when I'm thinking now where those go on a seahorse, but I'm just gonna uh, put them there and see what looks right. So as always, I'm gonna invert my drawing horizontally and see if there are any particular areas that really stand out as being very distracting or out of proportion or perspective and I'm just gonna continue to shape away at this design and try to clean it up as best as possible before I do any kind of clean line art. Okay, now it's finally time for clean line art. Again, I'm just drawing over the existing shapes. I'm not tracing, I'm really thinking about what is the volume of this object if it were in 3D space, especially with those eyes. I want it to feel like this horsey's eyes are popping out of its head and I kind of want it to have a slightly like cute creepy unhinged look. I don't really know what seahorse snouts are supposed to look like, so I just uh, tried to go with something cute and simplified, and I just put some really um, quick lines for the nostrils. I'm now doing the belly, and these little descriptions of cheek fins and of um, little dorsal fins, I'm just not quite sure what to do with those. So I am going to draw the spiral tail instead, <laughs> which I do know what that looks like. I, it will take me many attempts because getting the perfect spiral is tough, but you know it once you got it. I think I'm gonna do these fins for now with the three prongs, just to match the three pronged cheek fins, which I am confident will look something like that, I hope. And then I really had no idea, like I said, what a snork snorkel is, so that is the horsey snout, and I think I'm gonna stick with that design. I'm just cleaning up the little pronged cheek fins, trying to make it look like it's something you could see from this angle, but maybe cheating out a little so it's visible in silhouettes nicely. Next, I'm going to focus on this final fin here. I don't know if it would be called like a dorsal fin or something. I just wanted to make sure that I'm including as much as I can. And I did like the idea of having a silhouette where there's a little something in that space, you know, just to break up the shape a bit. Now I'm just gonna go and clean up some of these lines. I decided I am gonna color in the belly and color in certain parts and it's just easier and more um, unified if I put lines there to indicate. Now that I have the clean lines, I'm going to invert the design and just check to make sure that it kind of fits my standard and feels like it's something that I am excited to color in. And now we're going to move on to color. The description says that the horsey has a chibi light blue color. So I'm just going to cover the entire body with this nice light blue shade. It's starting to look a little, maybe too light for me, but I'm just gonna finish coloring it and if I change my mind, I can always um, paint bucket 
fill it a different shade of blue once I have everything within the lines. And as I'm going through this, I just uh, am noticing that I don't know that I actually like those three pronged fins either, so I might return to that. But for now, I'm going to give the eyes a color. I'll choose like a slightly off-white. Again, this is just so that when I export the PNG, I can uh, turn off the white background entirely and still have this image isolated. I'm going to go through and pick a darker blue because I'm realizing that the cream and this really light blue that's just starting to get really washed out and I want it to pop a little bit more when I'm looking at it. So I think I'll be happier with a slightly darker blue. Uh, but first, I am going to erase and redraw those dorsal fins because I'm realizing now that the description says little roundish cream colored wings slash dorsal fins. So Maybe they're not actually wings, they're more like the round fish fins, and I'm going to try this instead. So that maybe feels a little bit better and it offers some variety so it's not competing with the design language of the three-pronged cheek fins. I think that's better. I'm now going to color in this top fin here with the cream color. I still think the blue is too pale, but maybe if I can do the cream colored parts of this design, I'll have a better idea of what kind of blue I should lean towards. Now I'm going to focus on just playing around with the combinations of blue and cream, you know, seeing what saturations feel right. This blue feels a lot better to me because it's a little bit more saturated and it pops a bit more. And now for red irises, I'm actually going to choose like a coral red because it fits the design of this horsey better in my opinion. And then I'm going to choose a slightly more desaturated, slightly darker blue to do this little, uh, the little fins and to do the under eyelid. <laughs> I don't know how you describe uh, that little piece under his eye, but I like it. So I think I'm going to keep it there. Now when I consolidate all of these flat colors, I realize for this design, I really want to do just a tiny bit of a shadow. I'm going to take a desaturated darker purple, throw it on multiply and bring the opacity down to probably 25%. Uh, you can adjust it depending on what your existing color palette looks like, but I'm just going to play around with it. This adds a little bit more depth and dimension and I really like that and it doesn't have to be anything fancy. These are not, you know, renaissance accurate shadows by any means, but they just add a little bit more life to this character. And I think because it's so simple, and especially for that spiral, I want to be able to indicate there's some kind of volume there, and this helps with that. I just have a few more finishing touches here, and then I think I'm really happy with how this is turning out. I think it's probably one of the more cute designs I've done, and it has my essence in it. I love the buggy, unhinged eyes that are staring different directions. I really relate to that. So I think I'm going to call it and then I'm going to reveal to myself the actual design for a horsey. So this here is my final design, but I'm now going to look up what the official Pokemon approved horsey looks like. <gasps> Aww! This horsey, it's so cute. Oh, I see what the description meant by like a snorkel nose. Like I didn't know that a snorkel was like, it looks like a suction tube. I think I should have known that, but I didn't. And I see what they mean now by the difference in the three pronged cheek fins. I totally interpreted that as like cute little pieces. I didn't realize it was like the whole head. Like those three prongs are literally the entire horsey's head. And I also really like that the, the little spiral tail is actually much smaller. <laughs> I made mine like a giant fat cinnamon roll. But I had the right instinct to change the design of that dorsal fin to be more rounded. It's not the same design at all. Mine is much smaller, but it kind of works. Okay, my... Spiral tail also literally goes the opposite way, and I feel like I should have known that based off of how seahorses work, but I clearly didn't because I guess I don't look at enough marine life. Um, but I really like both versions of this, and now you know there's many versions of what a horsey can look like. Thank you again for watching, and if you're interested in me drawing a Pokemon based off of your description, please comment below. See you next time!